Hi guys, Mitch here. So today we are going to feature my friend's cycling ultralight one person tent from Nature Hike. <laughs> If you are looking for a lightweight and affordable one-person tent, keep watching because we are going to take a closer look of this tent. So let's begin with the specs. The total weight of the tent is approximately 1.6 kilos, including all accessories and the ground sheet. This is a two-layer tent with a dimension of 205 by 95 by 110 cm. The tent fly is made of 20D silicone fabric with a waterproof index of 4000 mm. This is already a very good waterproof rating. The corners of the tent fly is equipped with buckles that you can easily attach either to the inner tent or the ground sheet. It has reflective webbings on both ends for you to attach the wind ropes and the door buckles. There is also a vent on this side of the tent. The tent poles are made of 7001 aluminum alloy. So this is a three season tent. The inner tent is made of B3 polyester breathable mesh and the bottom floor is made of 210p polyester cloth with a waterproof index of 3000 mm. There's only one door in this tent that can be rolled to the side using these cord locks. Now the vestibule of this tent is spacious enough to store some of your camping gears if you want to place them outside. You can also cook comfortably in the vestibule when it rains. By the way, the ground sheet is also made of 210p polyester cloth with a waterproof index of 3000 mm. Now let's get inside the tent. The floor space is wide. There is enough room to lie down and still have extra space for your camping gears. That if you wish to put them inside. There is also a small pocket in this corner of the tent. At the top, there is a hook for the tent lamp. Now, because of the structure of the poles, the top portion of the tent is very narrow. It makes the headroom very limited if you are a tall person or if you have a wider shoulder. If you are big, um, yeah, this is the middle. Cannot move freely sideways. Oh, By the way, I am five feet and six and a half inches tall, and weighs fifty-five kilos. So for me, this is not the tent that will suit me based on my personal preference. Nonetheless, it will make a good room for shorter or smaller people. Another thing that I think should be pointed out in this review is the height of the floor. It's just around 4 inches on all sides and I think it is very short. Also, the tent fly in the head and feet area is a bit loose no matter how you tighten it. And there is no guy out point where you can pull it away from the inner tent. So splashes in these sides of the tent during rainy days is highly possible. You may also want to change the peg on the door side to a V-shaped peg or anything with a good grip so it won't turn or loosen up. So those are the few downsides of the tent but overall for a price of less than 4,000 pesos you're already getting a good quality and lightweight tent. I'll put the link of this tent in the description if you wish to check it. Although there are several stores selling this tent in Lazada. Just a heads up, watch out for the cheaper version because it could be the heavier version, the 210T polyester tent fly. 
it is heavier by 200 grams and the waterproof rating is also lower so make sure you read the product description okay so there you have it guys i hope you find this video informative please like and subscribe to my channel for more camping related videos in the future thanks for watching bye